Hello beautiful souls, thank you for joining me today for this beautiful weekly Twin Flame energy reading. I do hope you're well and that you're staying focused, believing and trusting in that deeper knowing, that unexplainable love that's within you. So welcome to the new subscribers and thank you for joining this beautiful community and for supporting my channel and myself, um, it means the world. And thank you so much to all of you that have been supporting me for some time. It means so much and I am so very grateful to each one of you for the love and the support and the effort that you put in <laughs> to show your love to me. Um, so thank you. And if you are new, my name is Zoe as well, I forgot to mention that. So this is going to be this reading for the week of the 28th of October to the 3rd of November. So this is going to be a big week, a lot going on this week because we're coming into a new fresh month November and I will be doing a reading for that so make sure you look out for that and we're also going to be having on the 1st of November which is Friday of this week this up and coming week the new moon in Scorpio so you could be feeling this energy already because we do feel it before during and after um, and we will experience it in different ways as well some people do it feel it more after and some more before so just have this awareness um, of the intensity of this energy this week so this reading that I'm doing is just showing you the, the energies that are going to be available to you this week how these energies are supporting you because all of the energies are supporting you um, and if it makes us feel uncomfortable if it brings up things within us that you know we don't want to face you have to view that differently. You have to sit in that and actually be open to receive whatever these energies are showing you within yourself. Um, so with Scorpio as well, it's, it is a water energy. So emotional, emotions could be running very high and Scorpio does have a sting as well. So we have to be aware, aware of that, of our own sting. <laughs> and from others as well because other people around you are going to go be going through their thing as well um so i'm going to be tapping to the divine masculine energy first of all to see what the divine masculines you know what could be heightened this week for the divine masculine energy and then i'm going to go on to the divine feminine energy i will get messages from the divine feminine to the divine masculine to, from the divine masculine to the divine feminine to see what wants to be expressed in this energy for this week and at the end i'm going to get messages from god from higher power to give you an update for this week about your journey and it will be a message of strength that will help you remain in your truth focused believing and trusting in that deep and knowing that unexplainable love is within you so i'm bringing in first of all the daily guidance oracle deck this is a very old deck but very powerful um, to see first of all what the divine masculine energy is going to be for this week you know what what's going to be heightened what is it the divine masculine is going to be facing because of these supportive energies of a new month the new moon what's coming through divine masculine energy and remember you have both of these energies within you beautiful soul so what's coming through for the divine masculine energy of this week of the 28th to the 3rd of november 2024 what is it the divine muscle is going to be facing and how are these energies the new moon and the new fresh energy of november going to be supporting the divine muscle during this week what do we need to be aware of the divine masculine energy play in this lighter energy this week not so serious Feeling this relief, feeling more playful. And this is about them having this awareness of what really is important. And what's important is for them to be relaxed, to have fun, to do the things that they love. And they are integrating this into their life now. And it is so different to how they were living because everything was so serious. They were, were in a strict routine and 
you know, setting themselves tasks. Schedules, you know, that are, that are very intense. So it's like this week, the Divine Masculines are letting go and playing. Um, feeling so light because they've let go and offloaded the burdens, the weight that they've been carrying around. Let's see what else is coming through. Time to go, yeah. Hmm. The sun sets and rises each day and it's the same with avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life and know that the sun will always rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of new beginning. And we are with you through each phase and cycle. So this is crown chakra that's coming through here as well as the third eye. And the divine masculines are really navigating this journey with their third eye, with the activation they recently had. And having this really strong connection, feeling really in tune with God, with higher power, receiving sacred wisdom that's helping them take action to keep moving forwards in their life. And a big part of their whole routine, their daily life, a big part of it is now for them to make time for themselves, to move on from this strict routine, the intensity of it, the pressure that they've been, not been putting on themselves. This is what's important to the Divine Masculine now, to have fun, to not take life so serious and not to do this by themselves, to open up to the support from higher power, from God, from the universe. And that's why they're feeling lighter, is because they're, they're handing this over and they're feeling this urge to get things done as well, to move away from things that they were doing before law of attraction, yeah. They are aware of this law of attraction, taking responsibility of their energy. Um, and we've got the green with um, the heart chakra here as well. And at the bottom of the deck is reward yourself, yeah. Reward yourself, divine masculine energy. You have done so much <laughs> shifting recently and it is time to really nurture yourself and have this time out to relax, to have fun, to do the things that you did maybe as a child, to feel like it was when you was a child, to go back to that and leave all of the heavy stuff behind. And things are coming, showing up in the Divine Masculines world at this time and they're very aware that they've created it the divine masculine is what i'm getting from this law of attraction they know that they're attracting certain things in and because they have this awareness now they are having really observing themselves what's going on within themselves what their energy is and there may be lots of manifestations that are really showing up in the divine masculine's life that they have you know they planted that seed for some time ago and it, they're starting to see results um in their life their dreams and desires everything, they can see that everything's falling into place um that they're feeling you know they know that the god the universe is giving them signs and sh and bringing new things in and they know that, you know, they, they're like this overwhelming as well, what I'm getting. You can hear the way there was hesitation there because there's so much that I want to say. The Divine Masculines, are like, they can feel this excitement as well because it's like, let's go. It's time to go because I know how law of attraction works now. <laughs> I'm going to manifest all of my dreams and desires and maybe something's going to happen this week where it's just like, whoa. It's going to be shocking to the divine masculine energy um, where it showed up. <laughs> they put it out there and 
something has been shown to them is arrived and they're in shock about how amazing and how powerful that they are, that they are the creator of their life. But they're doing this with, with God, really in tune and in their heart space. Um, and they may be looking into, you know, researching more this week and looking into, you know, fascinated by the law of attraction <laughs> as well. So that's what's coming for the divine masculine um, this week. So these energies from the 28th to the 3rd of November, this is what's available for the divine masculine energy and it's going to show up in some way. So let's see what comes through for the divine feminine energy. I was going to use some more decks, but actually I'm just going to stick with this because it seems to be flowing beautifully and these cards are so special. So what do we need to be aware of for the Divine Feminine Energy of the 28th to the 3rd of November 2024? What is it the Divine Feminine is going to be facing? What's going to be going on for the Divine Feminine Energy this week? Nice clear message. There's nothing to worry about so i feel the divine feminines may be seeing results as well this week and we've got throat chakra coming through here um feeling lighter again the divine feminine energy where they're feeling less worried about everything because certain things have been happening showing up as i mentioned and they're feeling this ultimate trust so, so news could be coming in this week where the divine feminine is going to feel like oh my goodness a relief i can relax feeling so much more peaceful because they know that there's nothing to worry about um and for some of you it depends how you know it shows up for each one of you but for some of you it could be where Something may show up unexpected and it's brought this worry to you. And you're going to know that actually there is nothing to worry about and that everything is happening for you to support you. And it's having to happen to be able to push you forwards or um, it's more for you to work through by feeling whatever it is, that whatever unexpected to come in. But there is nothing to worry about. So you're getting the heads up here. If something does come in this week, um, just to be aware, there's nothing to worry about. It's happening because for a very big reason. But I feel as if it's this that you're feeling less worried this week, divine feminine energy. Uh, life purpose. This is about you really showing up, divine feminine. Your life purpose is to be your true, authentic self. And you being your true authentic self, what comes natural to you is that purpose that you know that what you're meant to do, your gifts, your talents of what you uh, want to share with the world that's supportive to this world, to humanity. Um, but we do get in a panic about life purpose because we think, well, what is it then? And we search and we search and we search because it, we think it's got to be a certain thing. We think God, the universe, is asking so much of us. To, we've got to do something that's huge, that's big. But all God, the universe, is expecting from us is to be truthful, to have our heart open, to be the unconditional love that we are. And when you're being the unconditional love that you are, you are serving humanity because you are being so thoughtful. You are giving so much. You're so considerate, so compassionate towards others. So um, maybe this week, you know, you're really connecting, going within and you, you, you've, you've, you've had that um, enlightenment where you're thinking, well, yeah, that's what I want to do. I know that's what I'm meant to do. And it may be completely different to what you've been doing for some time, Divine Feminine Energy, but something happens where it's made it quite cl really clear. And it may not make sense in the 3D and the physical as well. 
but it's just it makes you happy it it's it comes so easily to you it's something that you love and you're really wanting to put something in place and it isn't really for you it is about you really showing up and sharing your light and it doesn't matter what it is i must I'm, i'll keep having to say that because it could be something that's so so very different but it doesn't matter because there is no judgment god universe there is no judgment it's only judgment of self that holds us back and we think that we're weird or old um, but if you're doing what you love and it's your natural gift you're being your true authentic self it's going to it, 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 it is going to take off it is going to create so much love and joy for this world but the main message here is you are here to be your true authentic self and you being radiates so much love and peace out into the universe to this world um and maybe you're just you're, you're feeling you you're feeling this on a deep level this way where it's just like yeah this is what's important to me is to be the best version of myself huh. that's what you're doing by being on this journey the divine feminine and the divine masculines are becoming the best version of themselves the truth of who they are removing what no longer serves um, and it doesn't have to be complicated, this life purpose. It is so simple. It's just about you being. And you being honest and being is where you, you identify and recognise your own gifts and talents and you push through and you move forwards with them. Energy work. So maybe, you know, you know that what you're meant to do is energy work as well. And we're having... Um, you know, these energetic upgrades at this time as well. When we're sleeping, uh, um, we're receiving so much light, so much is going on, and maybe your calling is to do this energy work, like Reiki healing, um, or, you know, using your hands with massage and all of those things. But also, this is about having awareness of energies that are around you as well um and there could be a lot going on with your chakras this week divine feminine energy as well a lot of activation um but yeah you just have to receive these messages what it means to you and this is just giving you the heads up of the energies that are available this week um but yeah you could be really feeling it this energy shifting in your body this week and this is about your energy work about you you know where you're going out and about huh, coming across different people you're, that is energy work you being huh, is supporting so many people it's healing so many people by you just being present in your truth that is your life purpose. Other people find that so soothing, just being around you. They want more and more of it. And you taking responsibility of your energy is energy work because you're 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 aware of what's going on with you and you're 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 conscious of you, you know that you want to be able to be in the high vibration to show up in this world um so you can help other people as well so at the bottom of the deck is family so this is crown chakra as well for the divine feminine energy so you may feel um, as if you want to be spend time with family this week to have closeness with family or if there's any family issues there's nothing to worry about. It is going to get sorted out and there's fear coming through in my throat. <clears> throat> um, there is nothing to worry about about any family situations. And um, maybe this is where you're having to, you're going to have to speak up with a family situation to a family member, Divine Feminine. And yeah, maybe you just want to spend time with family having fun 
doing the things that you love, having this time out. And again, that is energy work. <laughs> that is taking good care of your energy. Um, but yeah, I feel that there may be some of you that have got this urge to do energy work with Reiki, healing, um, or maybe read energy. The same similar thing to what I'm doing. Um, you, you know that you're meant to do that or you're thinking about that you want to create a YouTube channel. These energies are going to be supporting that. You know, this is the time for you to be able to step up and take action towards all of those things, all the things that you want to achieve. You are going to be getting that support because the energy is available this week. That's what's going to be showing up divine. So I'm going to get messages from the divine masculine to the divine feminine. And I'm going to use messages of unconditional love from the Divine Musk in my deck. And if you're interested in purchasing any of the communication decks I'm using in this reading and in other readings, the website that you can purchase them from is in the description box down below. The link is there. So what is it, Divine Musk, as you'd love to share and express to the Divine Feminine during this week of the 28th to the 3rd of November? You're everything I've ever dreamed of and more, Divine Feminine. You knocked me off my feet. I can't believe that you showed up in my life. You are my dream come true. You're more than a dream. <laughs> You're everything I've ever dreamed and more, Divine Feminine. You're the only one that has access to my heart, Divine Feminine. Know that. You're the only one that's in my heart. And I know for some of you Divine Feminines that could be a struggle to believe because what may be showing up in the 3D in the physical where it feels as if your Divine Muscle isn't loyal because of different situations that, that you know and their circumstances. But again, when you come out of your head, when you're in your heart, you know that you're the only one that has access to your Divine Muscle's heart. You know that they can only love you. You know, it's so deep the way they love you. They can't feel the way they feel towards you about anybody else. And, you know, they just feel as if you're too good to be true, Divine Feminine. You rationalise my darkest thoughts and set them free. <laughs> you bring the light to every situation, Divine Feminine. And at the bottom of the deck is your beauty is a perfect mix. You are just beautiful in every way, Divine Feminine. I couldn't ask for any more. And it is it is so overwhelming and it is really hard for me to be able to accept that you're true. And this goes with the law of attraction as well, where, as I said, the things are going to be showing up in the Divine Muslim's life, but it's going to be shocking for them this week. And... Yeah, it's, it's this, this overwhelming of, really? Is life really this amazing? <laughs> because of this awareness, the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine's life is changing because they're creating magnificent things. They're believing and trusting in what they already know, the truth of life. And they're trusting that deep inner knowing, that unexplainable love that's within them, what they experience when you come into each other's life. But you, that when, they, when they think about you, when they're having those darkest thoughts and the worry and the fear come up, all they have to do is think about you and it makes everything feel amazing and it just sets them free. Huh? They come back into their heart space. And, and this week, this is going to be um, how they're going to be feeling, Divine and Feminine. They may have these dark thoughts at times because they feel guilty that they're playing and taking some time out. But then they smile to themselves and think of you. And they get grounded again. They connect with the truth. That's what you want. That's what you represent to the Divine Masculine is the truth. So I'm going to get messages from the Divine Feminine now. Messages of truth from the Divine Feminine, my deck that I created. What else is coming through Divine Feminine? 
what is it you would love to share and express in this energy this week? What could be going on for you? Let's see. What is it you want your Divine Masculine to know this week? It's such an honour to be your Divine Empress. That's the second time that's come through. In you know, it's come through recently in the readings that I've done. I feel so grateful, Divine Masculine, that I'm your Divine Feminine. Can't believe it. It's so exciting. I just feel so honoured and blessed. So grateful. I've been working through my inner fears, Divine Masculine. I'm so different to how I was. I was a worry pot before. <laughs> I was very fearful about everything. And I have had no choice, Divine Masculine, is to deal with these fears, my inner fears, that they were so deep and hidden. They were revealed to me. If only you knew what's been going on in my life, which has come through as well. Change happening for the Divine Feminines. And they really want to open up the Divine Feminines to tell the Divine Masculine everything. They want the Divine Masculine to know what's going on in their life. How much they've changed and what's changed in the, you know, since being on this journey and the current change that's happening now because there are big changes happening. The day you came into my life was the day I found what I'd been looking for my entire life, Divine Masculine. Appreciation of each other, what's coming through here for this week. Um, gratitude in their heart space, Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. Just feeling blessed to be on this journey. So I'm going to get messages from God, from higher power, from the universe, whatever word resonates with you to give you a message of strength and to give you an update for what's going on in your journey for this week. So I'm going to use the Moonology Manifestation Oracle deck to get the message today because we are going to have that new moon in Scorpio. So what is the message of strength? What is the update about the beautiful soul's journey? What is it you need to know for this week of the 28th to the 3rd of November 2024? Nice, clear message. Reflect on your priorities, which I mentioned here with the Divine Masculine last quarter moon in Aquarius. So this is a time to reflect what really is important. Um, you know, put things in order. That's what you're going to be doing. Organisation this week. Some of the things that you're putting your energy in, things that you're worrying about. Are they really worth worrying about? The priority should be having fun, looking after your well-being, your energy. Um, and both the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine, that's what's going to be happening on your journey. Putting things in order, reflecting on your life and... Um, I forgot to say what it was in. So it was last quarter moon in Aquarius. Did I say that? I can't remember. Beautiful soul. So we've got Aquarius, which is air energy. Aquarius, Gemini and Libra are known to overthink, to be in their heads. So don't overthink this. And we did cover that for the Divine Feminines recently as well. Um, so think about what is important and change things, things that maybe used to be the top of the list that really is wasting and draining your energy, you need to put them at the bottom of the list or remove it completely. Your health, your well-being is what should be at the top. That is the priority for you to have fun, to play. Um, so that's going to be highlighted for this week and Last quarter moon in Scorpio, reveal what needs to be seen. Yes, yeah, so open yourself up as well. Don't hide away. And again, we've got coming back to life purpose and this energy work here. Don't hold back. 
open yourself up, reveal what needs to be seen. Your light is so bright and so healing and soothing for this world. So shine, beautiful soul. And because we have Scorpio again, it could feel really emotional this week. So don't be hard on yourself if you're feeling particularly tearful or, you know, you're having to feel. That's okay. Give compassion, patience and understanding towards yourself. And, you know, don't be hard on yourself when you when you sort these priorities out as well. Don't have, do this with judgment. Make the changes, prioritise things, but don't go over and feel bad about, oh, well, why was I doing this and well, I should be doing that, blah, blah, blah. We do have to be so careful with how those conversations kick off in our heads. So I hope this has been supportive and it, it's helped you understand what energies are going to be available this week and how they're going to be supporting and opening things up for us. I hope you have a fabulous week with the new moon in Scorpio and coming into November as well. Um, and make sure you look out for those readings for the month of November and the new moon in Scorpio. And most importantly, stay focused, believe and trust in that deeper knowing, that unexplainable love that's within you. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share because it really does help my channel grow. That's if you feel connected to me and you understand me. And I'm sending you so much love, my support, my strength and light. And I love you so very much. See ya.